I know I said my video wasn't on version 3.60, but uh, some things happened. One of the developers for the SD to Vita hack reached out to me and let me borrow his loner PlayStation Vita so I could make this video. So like I mentioned in my last video, with Henkiku, it adds the ability to use any SD card on your Vita and not the ones that are supplied by Sony. But to do this, you're gonna need a couple things. For starters, you're obviously gonna need a Vita on version 3.60. And the thing is, this is the most crucial part, you know, step, whatever thing needed, but it could be the easiest out of all of them because if you haven't updated your Vita, then you're already good to go. But for this hack, I recommend you use a secondary Vita. You'll see why. The second thing you're gonna need is an adapter for your computer and your Vita. Now the thing is with the computer adapter, uh, some computers have a slot where you can put in your SD card and it can be red and everything. Basically you need an adapter so you can uh, plug in your SD card into your computer so it can be reformatted and basically properly set up for this to work. And the other adapter that's needed for the Vita is something that you can't exactly find anywhere but on eBay. And it's a thing that's gonna sit inside here and basically act as the holding spot for your micro SD. So the developer that reached out to me and let me use his loaner Vita actually sells these adapters and they're only $15. So his name is Mod Zaya. And in the description below, you're gonna see his eBay. Okay, that's where you can order one from him. It's already been like, I think I saw like 900 sold already and you know, everyone's, you know, everyone's happy with it and it works perfectly fine. So in the description below, if you are trying to do this, I recommend you go cop the adapter now. Only $15, that's nothing. And lastly, you're obviously gonna need a micro SD. So for this video, I'm not gonna do no concrete tutorial, you know, on how to do all this with every single step, but I will do some things because right now it's not activated on my Vita, but um, I will have to, do, like I said, I have to do some steps for it to fully be working. So if you do want a full tutorial, you know, of how to do this, I obviously recommend you check out Mon Zaya's tutorial because that's the one that I used because he sent this with the adapter already in, but I started to set something up, so I used his own tutorial, and it is pretty straightforward, but if you do have any questions, if you are confused on anything, leave a comment below, and I'll try my best to help you. So like I said, uh, he sent me this Vita with the adapter piece already installed inside the Vita. So you can see it right there, and that's the micro SD card in it. So whenever you go through this tutorial, he's gonna show you how to put it in. And so if you'll notice, you know, for video purposes, in the normal SD slot, you'll see that I have a four gigabyte memory card in this thing, okay? Four, it's not gonna focus because I have it on manual focus, but you can see the four. You can see the four, yeah, you get it. And the one at the top is gonna be a 64 gigabyte. So remember that for the end of the video so you can see. And I'm sure you've already noticed, uh, yeah. So the adapter actually gets put inside where the game slot is going to be. And as of right now, it is possible to take out the SD card, but you're gonna need tweezers. But when I did ask Modzaya, he let me know that uh, soon he's gonna have and start developing ones that are click like this, like the normal, where you click it and it pops out. He says soon they're gonna be having those ones, so yeah. So once your adapter piece is put into your Vita, if you don't have Henkaku yet, you know, now it's time to go get it. And to get Henkaku, okay, I had a tutorial about a year ago, and it's so simple. All you do is go to the website, like XYZ or something like that, whatever the website is, you go to that website, and all you do is click install. That's it. And then it's gonna do some stuff, it's gonna automatically put molecular shell on your Vita, and right then and there, you literally have Henkaku, and your Vita is already hacked. In the other video, I was talking about Henkaku, Enzo. So basically the difference between those two is Henku is temporary so if you restart your Vita it goes away while Enzo you just do one little extra step and then it's permanent you know it's always on your Vita. So from here what we do next is basically trick our Vita into thinking that this memory card in here is our main storage. We're basically I think mounting a new slot for this for our memory card. It begins to ignore this slot okay and read this slot as if it is our memory card. But it's actually possible to make it so it reads this one and your main one at the same time. So this this the second one is as if it's an external storage, while this one is your main storage. It depends on what you want to do. You know, I guess if you got games on here already that you want to keep, then that's when you would do that. But for me personally, I didn't have anything, so I just ignored this one and used a 64 gigabyte. So once that's done, you know, we're already ready. Okay, we go over to our settings, and if you notice, it's gonna be 64 gigabytes instead of that four gigabytes that you know. I previously showed you. Pretty cool, right? Personally, I think it's kind of sad that we gotta do all this just to 
you know, use our Vitas how they really should be, be able to be used, you know what I'm trying to say, like, why do I gotta go through all of this, even though it's not that much, why do I still gotta go through this just to be able to use normal micro SDs, you know, their things are way too expensive, it's just outrageous, man. But other than that, that's all I gotta say for this video, uh, if you did enjoy, please be sure to subscribe, uh, I don't do Vita videos as much as I used to, but, you know, things like this are cool and, and fun, I guess you could say, so that's why I decided to do them, but uh, other than that, uh, go ahead, check Check out Mozai's uh, eBay, like I mentioned. He also has a Twitter and I think something else. I don't know. It'll be in the description. Go check him out. He, like I said, he's one of the developers for this uh, SD to Vita. So give him praise. You know, the fact that we're able to do this. This shit is lit. Dumb lit. But on that, like I said, that's all I got to say. So I will be sure to see you all in the next video. Okay? Okay. Bye. You see, I'm waiting and they hating and I'm sipping on my tea. Bad bitch walking past, may I stop you, please? And I'm hungry as a bitch, but this life ain't free. Life ain't if free. I'm trying to get this money, I can't really shake a tree. I be working, I be working, it's a quarter past three. When I stop